Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Fallout 3 Let's Play. This is part 5. And I'm just waiting for this drug addict to come back. So let me wait a few times so I can talk to him. Oh, my mentats just wore off. There he is. Auto save. Come on, get out of the wall, you moron. Come on, dude, get out of the wall. Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. I understand you have a chemical habit. Damn it. Who told you? I, I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's okay, Leo. I want to help. Help? What's to help? So I'm a junkie. Big fucking deal. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. A hundred percent, sweet. You're hurting your family, Leo. Jenny and Andy care about you. I... I guess you're right. I have to tell them about my problem, don't I? That would be a good idea. I just don't know what to say. I've been stealing from both of them for years to get my fix. Where do I even start? Well, I'll figure something out. Look, I want to thank you for your help. I guess it took a complete stranger to show me what an ass I've been. Take this key. It's to my private stash in the water treatment plant. Just get rid of the stuff. Burn it, sell it. I don't care sell what it. happens to it. That's a good idea. You made the right choice. Made me very Thanks. happy. It'll be hard, but I'll do my best. I really could care less. I really couldn't care less. I have to go now. Anytime. Girls, prepare to be astounded, bedazzled, and otherwise stupefied. I'm Three Doll, your master of ceremonies. News time, children. Today's weather excessively violent with a chance of dismemberment. Tune in later for... What do you need? You should buy some scrap metal? I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Just take all the scrap metal I have. Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. I have to go. Listen up, children. This stuff's important. Remember, children, when the raiders come, there ain't no shame in locking your doors, barricading the windows, and cowering under the nearest bed. When these psychos come to play, they have one thing on their minds, making your life as fucking miserable as humanly possible. Raiders can't be bargained or reasoned with. There ain't no use surrendering. My house! Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? I'm out of here. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Put my bobblehead on this bobblehead stand. And then I will look at... I, this is where I store all my stuff. Sell that. Uh, want to that? Sell, 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 sell all that stuff. Uh, sell, hold on to that. Sell. Doesn't have any weight. It's not a big deal. Purify water. I'll hold on to. Stealth boy. Sell. Stim packs. Good. Vodka. Sell. Conductors. I hold. On. I usually hold on to a lot of this different kinds of stuff. Paint gun, because you can craft stuff with it. Ooh, sensor module. Sell the rest. Okay. Let's go to sleep to get our health back, and then we'll head on out and uh, get some quests.
Then it'll be awake. Then it'll be awake, and I can go in and talk to the chicken. There it gives me a lot of, gives me a cool quest line. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Sure, I've got plenty to say about my life in the vault. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. This outside place is amazing. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. What's this book you're working on? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to help. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. All right, I'll check the Super Duper Mart. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Let's see what you have for sale. Sure thing. Oh, that's nice. That's the thing she just gave me. Okay, let's see what she's got. Uh, I don't care about any of that. Leather armor. Yeah, the leather armor is even better than the thing she gave me. That's full. And it's only 12. This one's not even full, and it's 14. That means I could sell this back. Always need stim packs. And by any ammo you can you can possibly use. Yeah, 
right. I know exactly what ammo I can use, or I'm going to need eventually. Which is almost all of it. 5mm rounds is for, uh... It's for heavy weapons. I won't need those for a long time, so I'll let her keep those shotgun shells. Good hunting. All right, take it easy. Hello, Capital Wasteland. This is Three Dog. Ow! See my ammo is doing. Coming to you loud and proud from Galaxy News Radio. And here's me <laughs> All right. with the news. Pistol is number one. So what's Shotgun will be number two. Been up to? Three will be Here's Chinese assault rifle. Four will be sniper rifle. Kid from Vault 101. Hello. Cause one dog ain't enough, and two is too low. I love this weapon. It's me, three dog. How you kids oh, damn it. Post up oh, well. I won't be today. using it anyway. The sniper rifle, that is. Alright, let's go to Super Duper Mart, shall we? We'll hit a house on the way there. According talk to some lady. From the episode, Hoity Toity, Tide in a Tower. A group of displaced ghouls have been trying to gain entrance. Ah, uh, but lush at large, Alistair Tenpenny says. No zombies, no how. Come on, I'll cut the ghoulies a break. If they've got the caps and you've got the space, it's a win-win, right? What do you say? Until Listen to Three Dog. Three Dog. He talks a lot about stuff that's important that's going on. I'm sorry guys, I love this game. This is so much better than Vegas. I'm not even sure why. Maybe it's because I played it first, who knows. But, yeah, I like this way more than Fallout New Vegas. Three Dog is way cooler than anything in Fallout New Vegas. And, I don't know, this game just feels better. I don't know. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Yes, he says you owe him some caps. That bastard. He's a... He's a liar! He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. I don't care. I'm just here for caps. Is there something wrong with your hearing? I just told you the caps are mine. You can't have them. You can tell me all you want. I'm not leaving without the caps. This is never going to end until I send him a message. Well, fine. If I have to kill you to send it, I will. Look what we have here. Well, there's more where that came from. I'm hit! Ah! Four hundred caps, I'm talking about. I'll steal stuff and lower karma, but only if it's something that's worth it. Oh, she's got a lot of stuff in here that's worth it. <laughs> Now I'm playing a good character, so I don't like losing this karma, but... ...all relate to something that is unquestionably inescapable. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> Get out of here before I make myself even more hated. Alright, where's that school at? Okay. Just follow the... ...waypoint thingy. I meant the school. I meant the, the Super Duper Mart. Mm, let's do the Super Duper Mart first. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the school first.
Alright, I'm gonna try and be somewhat sneaky in here. First thing I do if I'm gonna be sneaky is turn off the radio. Educated. With the education perk, you gain three more skill points every time you advance in a level. This is best to you, goddamn right. It's like one of my favorite perks. You don't get any perks like that in in New Vegas. weapon yet, or rifle, the uh, hunting rifle, that's what I want. Nope. change vats to F key. Or, um, actually, hold on. Yeah, mouse key. I don't like vats being under V. It's like, it's kind of hard to get there. Uh, controls, mapping, uh, vats. It won't let me do the mouse. Damn it. Alright, it'll let me do F. Relax, fellas. Trouble's over. Hiding from me? Better hope I don't find you. Oh! Whoa! Jesus! Yeah, tear him apart! You're dead! Dead! Hiding from me? You better hope I don't find you. How could you miss me? This is bullshit. Okay. There's my hunting rifle. Thanks. Love it. Basically, the way I do my, my weapons is... Uh, the first two are for uh, up close and personal, which is the pistol, and it's going to be a shotgun. The the third is for is like an, a, a rifle type, which will be either the Chinese assault rifle or the hunting rifle, depending on which one I have the most ammo for. And if the fourth one will be my sniper weapon, and fifth one will be my melee combat. Number eight is health. Um, where, where is it? Yeah, stem packs. I don't know what six and seven is yet. I don't know. Scared, huh? You should be. Who's out there? Only a fucking coward hides. All right, guys. That's gonna do it for part five. I'll see you next time.